Hello, my friend! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna Stashkina, and today we are going to talk about different types of veneers and how to add texture to your petals. I'm going to show you how to choose right veneers to create textures like this on your petals and on your leaves. So let's begin! Let's talk about veneers that can work with wafer paper. These are the same veneers you would use for your sugar flowers or fondant flowers. But the difference when you're going to work with your wafer paper and you want to get this textural effect, you wanted to see your veins, the veneer makes a big difference. So first, what you need to look for when you're going to choose your veneer is you need to choose something with very pronounced veins, like you see here this leaf veneer this is ck brand i'll put all the links down below in the description and this one the sugar art studio their penny veneer you can see how deep and textural these veneers are on the other hand if you're going to choose something like this or even this brand you can see that these veins are relatively flat compared to these ones so it's much easier to transfer this texture onto wafer paper if you have deep grooves. The other aspect you need to pay attention to when you're going to vein your wafer paper is to choose something soft. So even this made out of silicone or rubber, it's relatively flexible, like right here. That means that it's much easier to put your wafer paper in and transfer all the texture. On the other hand, this one you can see you can barely bend this veneer and it means that your wafer paper will stay flat. So I highly recommend you to invest in something like this peony veneer by the Sugar Art and leaf veneer by CK product brand. Let's start with the first one I was introduced to is by using a steam. So here I have my wafer paper leaf on a wire and I have a separate tutorial on how to wire your wafer paper. So I have my leaf on a wire, I have my veneer to make this leaf shape. And the idea is with veining wafer paper is to introduce enough moisture to your wafer paper so it becomes flexible and then you can use your veneer to reshape it and help it to stay in a new way. So when you're going to use a steamer, I have this mini steamer. This is a cold steam and you can use regular steamer or even a pot of water. And I'm going to gently steam my leaf on both sides. Then I'm going to place it into my veneer and press it down with my veneer. So you can see I have texture transferred to my leaf. The downside of this method, if you want your leaves to be colored or your petals to be colored in any color, you will need to airbrush or use an edible printer and pre-color your wafer paper prior to using this method. Second method, probably the most popular one, is to use alcohol. I have vodka here and this method is great because you can mix any color with your conditioner and apply this to your leaf. But I'm going to take a small amount of this alcohol and maybe a touch of pink gel color so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to paint my leaf with this mixture. This is vodka in gel color and place it into my veneer. So you can see I have textures on my leaf and I can put it aside on a bumpy foam or any former to dry. This is a great method to use with wafer paper if you live in a very high humidity environment and your wafer paper melts when it touches air. But the downside for me especially, when it dries, it becomes very brittle because of the chemistry. When you introduce alcohol to wafer paper, petal after some time, after drying, becomes very dry and like very brittle and hard to manage. That's why that's not my favorite method of working with wafer paper. 
And third method is my favorite one or my most used one is to use my acetonic mixture. This is non-alcohol wafer paper conditioner, which is a mixture of glycerin and water. And you can download my recipe in the description. So I'm going to take a little bit of my mixture, add a touch of green color. And another component I use when I work with wafer paper and make my leaves is cornstarch on my fluffy brush. So I'm going to take my conditioner mixture, apply on both sides on, of my wafer paper. And then I'm going to take my leaf and press it between my fingers to feel how much moisture I have inside my petal. And then I will take small amount of cornstarch, apply to both sides of my leaf to make sure it is not sticky anymore and place it into my veneer. Press it down and hold. The most important thing I found with wafer paper when you're going to vein your wafer paper is just to keep your veneer on your table without moving it around. Press, hold and count till 5 or 10. Depends on how much texture you wanted to get onto your leaf or your petal. And then I will have my leaf here. You can see it already holds its shape and I see all the textures and I can see all the veins. Then you can play around, move it because I have this on a wire. I can shape it the way I want it to and then place it onto my former to dry. And that's how I got all the textures on the petals the same way as I did this leaf. But I used this veneer. So you can be very versatile with this technique. You can color your conditioner. And I highly recommend you to try this method if you wanted to get very textural, veined and beautiful wafer paper. And if you're new here, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I post new wafer paper tutorials every Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Now you know how to choose right veneers for your wafer paper and how to create those beautiful textures. I hope you learned something new. Don't forget to download my easy tonic recipe in the description. And I'll see you next week. Bye bye.